And the first card is scandal. So some kind of news coming to light. You're going to hear some gossip or something that's going to be quite, um, well, it might be upsetting, but it's going to be quite shocking, whatever it is you're going to be hearing soon. Something is certainly coming to light and you're going to be hearing about it. Um, there's certainly a lot of power coming into your hand. Maybe whatever this news that comes in over there is going to put that power back in your hand. It's going to turn the tables a little bit. So something that is going to come to light uh, that is going to put you back into the power seat again because there's definitely quite a lot of power coming in over you. This is a nice thick lightning bolt coming in over there. The news might be bad news though. Um, but it's going to, this card's flipped out. So this is the fool card. So whatever this news is, even though it might, uh, you know, come across as being bad news or something that you didn't really expect to hear, it's going to allow you to make a brand new start with things. So this is something that's going to be very, very enlightening. It's, it's, um, you know, it's, it's, it might be a bit of gossip. Um, it might not be the best of news, but it's going to be something that's going to be very, very shocking. And it's going to allow you to start afresh somehow. In the past, you've got the vulnerable card over here. So, uh, you know, you've been feeling as though you've been victimized by whatever situation is uh, uh, that you're in. So maybe something coming to light that is quite unexpected. You certainly have been isolating yourself from everybody else. Um, not really being able to see what is coming uh, on for you over there because he's got his back face to you know, the future there. Both the oars are out of the water, though. So, you know, you're feeling a bit stuck in that situation, feeling alone and stuck, isolated as well, and feeling very vulnerable right now. Maybe you've been spending a lot of time by yourself because um, you know, you've had problems with people that you're dealing with, but it's not allowed you to move forward. Now what's coming in for you? You've got the abundance card in a battle. So it seems like you're going to have to fight for what you want. But everything you want is going to come into your hand. There might be some travel as well coming in over there. There could be something international that comes in for you on the work front there. This almost looks like the world card. So maybe an international job coming in for you. But it's certainly going to bring in a lot of money. Uh, you know, there might be a lot of competition as well to get this post. Uh, but it certainly looks like it's going to go in your favor. Because the, something's going to change so that, you know, it puts the power back in your hands. You need to stand up and fight for it. So, uh, you know, keep going. Uh, don't give up. Um, you know, this might be the last battle before you allow this abundance to come in. So uh, pull out all the stops, really, um, and persevere. That's very, very important because you're going to have the upper hand. There's some news coming in for you. Uh, it's going to give you that job or that money or that career that you've been going on, uh, going for. Maybe that you've been in competition with somebody else. Maybe the competition steps down for some reason maybe due to a scandal but it's certainly going to give you the upper hand so just persevere stand up for yourself hang in there uh, you know it looks like things are going to go in your favor bottom of the deck six of cups eight of coins four of wands page of coins so it looks like you have been putting out uh you know your cv you've been looking into other jobs and you've been waiting for news to come in with that page of coins um so maybe you've been applying for a lot of jobs um, and this is possibly overseas jobs. Uh, there might be a lot of travel involved with this job, but you are waiting for news to come in and news is going to come in about this. You're going to be working with a lot of people over there in this new job. It's a much more stable job, uh, a lot of collaboration going on. It's going to be very successful, uh, a, you know, a chance to celebrate success as well. It could be a partnership that you go into. And, you know, it's got the four rods over there. This is about like... Uh, you know, uh, communicating with the four corners of the earth. So it's a very international job that you're doing and a very established position that you will be taking and, you know, collaborating with a lot of people. Uh, you've got the eight of coins over here. You're learning a lot on this job there. You're very, very focused on it. Uh, you're very talented at whatever you're doing, but you're learning all the time as well. Uh, you can see with that eight of coins and it's bringing in the money. All your skills are bringing in the money or will bring in the money. You've got the six of cups over here. So you might be working with somebody that you used to work with in the past because this is the card of dealing with people from the past. But also a new offer coming in, possibly from somebody that you used to know. You've got that rainbow over there and you can see these cups are filled with roses. So there's a lot of opportunities coming your way as well. Maybe even a chance to travel, a chance to buy a new home somewhere else and a lot of success that will come in. And it looks like you might be in a partnership, going to partnership with somebody that you used to know from the past. So certainly an offer that comes in for you there. And it's going to be a really good one as well. So, um, you know, um, 
it's going to blossom into something really good, whatever it is. A chance to work with somebody from the past uh, and that offer coming in. But that's going to, you know, it's going to allow you to move on or progress as well. Right now you are feeling pretty stuck, but you can see this four of cups over there, new offer coming in. And since the cup is on the globe, it might be an overseas offer that comes in. So you've been working with something at the moment. You Maybe the jobs that you're considering at the moment is something um, that is not what you want to do. You haven't been quite too keen on them, but it looks like something is coming in for you. And since this is in the globe, it's something international. Make sure you are doing your research and making plans as well. This is very important. Be well planned up. You got the five of wands. So whomever you've been dealing with, there's been a lot of problems. You've been dealing with very difficult people, lots of deadlines. Uh, you know, very irritating people as well. You can see all of the squirrels attacking this man and he's trying to fight them off. And maybe making a lot of demands on you. You know, there's a lot of like minor battles, conflict, um, you know, verbal disagreements going on over there and wherever you're working at. And, you know, they've just been very irritating. Um, and you've been trying to swap them off, really. And they keep coming, so you're bringing little problems and coming to you. And it's all been on the work front over there. Now, you're fed up of it, so you've got that ten of wands over here. You're trying to sort things out, um, and this is the thing that has been distracting you, getting things in order. So there, where there's been, uh, you know, a lot of conflict, it seems like you've brought order to it. But it's given, you know, it meant that you're carrying a lot of responsibilities, a backbreaking job that you're doing, um, and, you know, you're trying to get things in order, but, you know... Uh, Every time you, you, you sort one problem about somebody else, bring something else. Uh, and it's been a lot of responsibilities and a lot of burdens. Now, that is about to end. So you are starting something brand new. It looks like this new offer coming in, this new job offer coming in for you there. It even could be a chance to learn as well on this new job front that you're going to be doing. Um, but you're definitely going to have a job where, um, you know, um, you can delegate a lot of responsibility to other people. So some kind of leadership position there. You've got the king of coins over here. So you're waiting for this offer to come in and you are looking for a, a higher paying job. So you've certainly studied quite a bit. You can see this king of coins is surrounded by books here. You're very, very uh, you know, well versed in what you do and quite an expert at what you do as well. So an offer coming in and you're waiting for that offer to come through for you. You want, you know, it looks like you are going to get through, get, whatever it is you're going for because you've got this uh, judgment card and this is about burning bridges uh you know your old bridges and moving on and whatever you're going to be doing a lot of people getting you know recognizing your skills and talents you can see they're almost worshiping this effigy and it's on fire so you're burning your bridges but whatever new job you're going to be doing taking a new direction and also uh getting a lot of recognition for it as well it's almost like you're bigger than anything you know bigger than life here so uh you know it's a big responsibility that you're taking but a lot of recognition coming maybe some international recognition coming but you're being asked to follow this new path and maybe this is what you're waiting for the news to come in as well with that sacrifice card you certainly have given up a lot made a lot of sacrifices in your life for this career uh, and it looks like it's about to change you might be going down a path that you didn't consider before certainly leaving all the conflict behind this is the six of swords so all the problems that you've been facing will be behind you and you will be moving on uh you could also be uh, you know planning on um signing new contracts as well with that Six of Swords, but definitely moving into a much more peaceful uh, arena um, once you start this new cycle and this new job. High Priestess shows that you're very, very well trained and you have to use all your skills and talents. Um, you, you don't have to rely on anybody's opinion for things. So, um, you know, she's the keeper of the keys of knowledge, so you are very knowledgeable about uh, in whatever it is you do. And you will be, um, you know, using all that knowledge. You might even be doing some teaching as well with this new job that you're doing. Um, this is also about doing a little bit of self-reflection, uh, deciding what you want out of life, um, you know, um, making um, goals for yourself and making sure that you're keeping to those goals um, that you want to follow. You can see she looks much older, you know, here. So you've got a lot of experience. Um, you know, you're you're certainly uh, very, very knowledgeable and well-versed in whatever it is you're doing. And that will be appreciated in this new job that you are going to be doing. There could also be some overseas travel. The Six of Swords is also about traveling overseas. Uh, so this could be an overseas move that you make. 
You got the death card over here, so you do want to make a fresh, a fresh start. This is your card, but you're about to transform right now. So you're putting the past behind you. You've turned your back to it, and you're about to move on. Maybe you're worried that things won't work out, but I don't think that there, there is that need for you to worry. You've got the Queen of Coins over here, the Ace of Wands, and the Eight of Cups, and this is the reason why. Queen of Coins, money coming in. You'll be handling people, finances, but there's also going to be studying and learning as well. You can see this man's presenting this woman with something, so... You know, awards being presented to you, recognition, but there's also, uh, you know, this is also talking about learning, people coming to you for advice and knowledge and direction in life. But it's also going to bring in that coin. Uh, your work is going to be, it's a very intellectual job that you have. Of the, you can see the hat on the floor there, or the crown on the floor. Uh, but you're suddenly going to be uh, revered by a lot of people, and they really appreciate your expertise. You got the Ace of Wands, so this is a brand new job. This could be an overseas job. This is about possibly, uh, you know, overseas travel as well and you know having a lot of power in your hand as well um you know um you're pos you're going to be working in some new project maybe working with a lot of people you can see a lot of hands holding this wand but you're going to be the one that directs or is going to be in charge of this particular project so it seems like um you know you're um you're going to be in charge you're going to be the one that's uh directing and um you know bringing this project to fruition uh, you can see this thing hand pointing over there so you're going to be the one that's giving the direction and telling people what to do really um so and it's going to be something that brings in the money this new project you've got the eight of cups over here so you are leaving behind uh the old situation uh and you can see um you know this man uh, He's got a lot of scrolls in his hands, so a very knowledgeable person. And, you know, people following your lead as well there. Um, so, you know, you're going to be directing a lot of people. Very much different from the job that you've been doing. That's why you've got the judgment card. So it's a change of pace for you there. Uh, you're going to have a lot more responsibility, but you're going to have a lot more people listening to what you've got to say. And like I said, this could be something where you're training up a lot of people. You're suddenly leaving behind an old situation now and you're going to go and start off afresh somewhere else. And a lot of people giving you recognition for what you're, you're going to be doing as well. It's going to be successful. You've got that rainbow and the six of cups. Uh, you know, so everything is going to blossom. It's going to be beautiful. And it's going to be, you know, you might be working with, uh, with a team of people, but you'll certainly be heading whatever the project is. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the, um, wolf pack. And the first card is rejoice. Finally, the drama in your life is over. Time to celebrate, rejoice, and go on with your life in a creative way. A newfound freedom financially, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. So this is a celebration card. And it looks like things are about to, you know, uh, um, really take a turn for the better there. The truth. So demanding or confessing the truth uh, to face a situation uh, you are not ready to deal with at this time. It could be painful to seek. It could be painful, so seek guidance. So there's some kind of truth coming to light, some kind of information coming to light. It might be not, it might not be what you want here, but some certainly going to liberate you in some sort of way. And you've got security over here, so you are about to enter your life. Uh, you're about to enter part of your life where you can now relax and enjoy. Beginnings of prosperity and successful ventures. A sense of security developing with career, finances, and relationships. So security coming your way there for you, and things about to take a turn for the best, really. Uh, you know, more stability coming in for you, more security, more finance, uh, more, um, you know, recognition. A four is definitely four of cups over there. This is maybe your home security. So security in home. And you've got, uh, you know, that ace of wands of the new projects, money coming in over there, moving away from old situations that weren't serving you, old people that weren't serving you there. Even that six of swords, moving away from difficulties and starting afresh. And you're very, very knowledgeable. And a lot of people taking note of your, um, you know, how good you are at what you do. So you're going to get that success and recognition that you have earned um and uh you know new security coming new beginnings coming in so a time for you to to uh relax and enjoy and celebrate and there you can see you've got the ten of summer which is the ten of cups so leaving behind a difficult situation um and moving on and you will be in a more emotionally fulfilling life 
and uh, people uh, who you can trust. So, uh, you know, whatever you start off now will be, will be much better. You are leaving behind old friends or maybe old colleagues and you're going to start something brand new there. You have to release the past over there. Uh, this is the death card. And so let go of the past and ending that makes way for new opportunities. Time to move on. So your cycle is finished here and it's now time for you to begin something brand new which is very timely. This year is coming to a close. It looks like this old cycle of hardship is coming to a close for you and new things are about to begin. And you've got the unity card over here. So do the right thing for the right reason. So this card is the card of the Hierophant and this is talking about you being the expert and that a lot of people will come to you for advice uh, and will come to you for uh, direction as well. Uh, with that unity card. So you're going to be taking on a new kind of role. Um, it's a brand new beginning for you. Um, you know, it's something that's much more relaxed, more laid back. It's a new, it's a change in direction with the judgment card. But it's something where you're almost like a guru, uh, um, you know, an expert at whatever you do. And people come to you. You don't have to run after them. And they won't stress you out because you will be giving your expert advice or giving direction and starting new things where you are the person you can see this man is leading and this boy is following so you know you're letting go of a, an old established situation maybe you weren't there for too long but you're leaving it behind and you're moving on you can see he's got all the scrolls in his hands so you are very very knowledgeable you're taking all that knowledge with you and you're going to impart it to the rest of the world and this is what people will pay you for you can see this man's bowing down with these scrolls in front of this woman. So they will come and pay you for this expertise that you have accumulated. You can see she's accumulated a lot of scrolls behind her. So all your expertise is what people are going to be paying you for. And it's going to be a better job. You're going to be starting this new job or this new project. It might be international as well uh, because there's a lot of, uh, because of that Ace of Wands. But certainly the new job that you have is much more relaxed there's not so much of stress and hassle and deadlines that you're going to have to meet like you were doing in the past. And it's going to be something really good and very, very uh, successful as well. Like I said, you could be going into partnership over there, but it's certainly going to bring in uh, a lot of more money and fame for you. So um, because you are taking on that role as the high priestess, you are being the teacher. Um, so, you know, it's going to be quite successful as well. So don't be afraid to make that move.